Hello everyone, my name is Roy Jafari and I would like to welcome you to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about two very specific and important data transformation techniques. These are normalization and standardization. We are going to learn about them, what they are, and when it, when it is necessary and appropriate to use these techniques for data transformation. So normalization is when we use this formula to make sure that our data are really represented in a different scale. Normally when we normalize, we scale our data or we rescale our data to be between zero and one. But it doesn't have to be that way. It could be other things. It could be from negative one to one, two, 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 uh, negative two, 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 and then so on and so forth. But for the most part, what we use um, is zero, one, or negative one to one. And uh, we just use this formula by knowing the new range. Let's say the new range is zero and one. So our new max and min would be zero and one. And we would use the min and max of the current value and use this formula to get to uh, actually transform all of the, the data into uh, the normalized version, right? So for example, if our new max and min are one and zero, which is most of the time, um, is going to, the formula is going to be simplified as this, right? So we have the, the transformed variable is equal to the original variable minus minimum divided by the maximum minus minimum. So that's called normalization. And then we have z-score normalization or standardization. This is also known as standardization. And the formula um, is simpler. Here you subtract the mean of the attribute from the original uh, val va value from the original uh, value and then divide that by the standard deviation of the attribute. And uh, this is a much simpler formula than the one that we had before. So let's look at an example here. So for example here we've got salary and GPA, right? So you see you have salary and GPA here, if you pay attention, right? And you can see uh, if we were to um, use distance um, to calculate the distance between each of these data objects using salary and GPA, just because salary has larger scale, um, then GPA would not matter, right? Just because the value of salaries are just much higher, much larger scale. Because of this, whenever in data mining algorithms or whenever we need to calculate the distance between two data objects represented by attributes who has different scales, which is always, always this happens, we have to normalize or standardize our attributes or um, yeah, the standardize our, our, our data objects, standardize our data set. And when we do that, for instance, you see we've got normalized our salary and GPA here, right? So now you can see the relative relationship between the data objects are kept, but at the same time, both of the attributes now are scaled to be between zero and one. Do you see? For instance, the maximum are still the maximum and the minimum are the minimum, but the Values are represented from 0 and 1. The same thing here. The minimum is minimum and the maximum is maximum. So now if we were to use these values uh, for normalization, for calculating distance or in clustering, then the, uh, both of these attributes are going to have the same weight in the, uh, in the, in the, in the final result. So the, uh, let's, now let's look at, let me wipe up one of some of these. Let's look at the uh, stand, standardized uh, example. So here, the, the last two rows are the standardized one. And you can see here that when you standardize, what happens is you make sure that the mean and the standard deviation are controlled, right? So the means are zero and the standard deviations are one. And, you know, this is the, distinction between 
normalization and standardization. For normalization, the range is more important. For standardization, uh, the standard deviation is more important. You want your standard deviation and variance to be one, right? So that's the, the distinction between them. But at the same time, when you do actually do normalization, you kind of get in a sort of very similar range as well. You can see that. And at the same time, you have the same effect here, right? You know, you've got the minimum and the maximum here. And again, the, the same here and the same here. Or you've got the minimum, right? And the maximum the same way, right? So this is very important to understand when we do go about normalization, we want the scale to be the same. When we do go about standardization, we want the standard deviation. Uh, the amount of information, statistical information, each of these attributes are presenting to be the same, right? So that's the distinction between them. So uh, when do we apply them? Uh, so this is the slide that tells you uh, when and how we apply these uh, methods. We apply normalization whenever distance, calculating the distance between the data objects, the part of the algorithms that we are going to be using. For instance, clustering or k nearest neighbors. If you remember, they use distance in the working of the algorithm. When do we use the standardization? Uh, the best way to, the best time to use the standardization and actually the appropriate time to use the standardization is when the variance is being used as a metric to capture the amount of information each attribute has. And the only uh, method that we've learned that uses variance as such uh, metric is principal component analysis, PCA. So before PCA, it's best to use the standardization. Um, uh, in the broader literature, if you sort of like, you know, see different examples, a lot of people use these two inter interchangeably. Sometimes they use uh, vary the normalization and standardization before PCA or before classification, before clustering, they use standardization. Why is that? The reason is because the results is very similar. I mean, even though we did not get, you know, the uh, same range here, but the range is, you know, sort of like, you know, comparable. Now it's similar. At the same time, even though we did not get the same standard deviation, still the standard deviation is also uh, kind of similar. So that's why, um, you know, if you were to use them interchangeably, that would not be the end of the world. Another thing that I want to leave you with before we finish this video is that sometimes um, a solution, a data, a data learning solution is crafted by looking at the choice between the standardiza standardization and normalization as a parameter of the solution. Meaning this is going to be tuned, we are going to choose between a standardization or normalization based on a metric that is going to be successful. Imagine we are using K and N for classification. We do both uh, you know, standardization and then normalization, and we see which one leads to a higher uh, metric, let's say accuracy, for the test set. And that would be how we would tune this parameter. All right. In the next video, we're going to talk about uh, binary coding, uh, discretization, and also transformation, ranking transformation. Until then.